my name is Samson Oonda Doyle. I have been the so chief subscriber of uh, Karoturi Limited and uh, by this time we understood that the Supreme Court decides that the CFC to sell the farm. But the problem which you are having is just one because we know that CFC is only after their money which is 1.8 billion. So we don't know whether how are we cater for our years of service because here I have 2,700 employees who have got their years of service in this company, which totaling to about uh, 200 and something million. So we are wondering how it will be because we I think that CFC has all people to say all former workers thought that if the CFC take the farm as it was decided by the court. It means that uh, they will sell it in a throwaway price whereby we are, we are not going to get our money. We have people here. Uh, watch, watch, watch. Yeah. We have people here who have been retired but they have not been paid their salary. They are here. Very holy people. We have people here who have been sick but they are just lying in these houses waiting for the payment of these years of service because we knew, we thought that if the, if, if the Karuturi himself took the farm, we thought that he would have sell it and give us our years of service. So this is the problem which we are having. We are not sleeping and we also think that maybe, we don't know what, what he is thinking about, but what I know is that uh, the houses, these houses which we are, we are living in, were not covered by the title deed of this farm. So people are, we are very much worried because we don't know whether they can stretch their hands and sell also the houses which we are living in. We don't know where to go, we are stranded because other people have got 50 years and above, they cannot work in these other companies. So you see that people are just, uh, people are just uh, trying to, just, the people are just uh, trying to make them, try to make themselves living in this contract job which which is not paying something so that is the problem which you are having at now according to the decision of the court we are not happy about it because we we are we are because we don't know whether the highway of service is catered for the farm become under liquidation we choose liquidators who are to liquidate the farm and uh, pay each and every the debts suppliers who have been supplying this company Mm, Kenya Revenue Authority and the workers. So I think this farm should be given to them so that they can sell it in a in a in a good price so that we can, each and everybody can get his money. And that's what we are praying for. But in the hands of CFC, we are done. But you see, we are going nowhere because because they will say in a private price because they only need their money and go. So they don't care. They don't see. They don't look. Up, they don't. Uh, they don't. They don't care about the our years of service. They don't care about the service. They just sell the farm and take their one point two billion and go. And that is the problem which you are having. Yeah. My name is Ali. So that is, so that you can look into it and uh, uh, so that it, it can cater for our fate. So. Uh, Mr. Kemboi, who is the deputy general secretary, uh, called me and he asked me about the status of the farm. I told him, so he was. He, he told me that he is going to, uh, to he is going to contact our lawyer so that they go to the court and see how how the how the arrangement is, so that if the if the fate of the workers is scattered court, he will call tell me. So have not got. Uh, they have not given me any 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 report about about it. But I've tried to have a ring with the general secretary, but I've not uh, get a proper report which I can tell the, the people. Because any report we get from Bob, I always gather and I always tell people and we I come as come on by report. So maybe to finalize, um, what do you think um, should be done?